about making good on very old promises. Tonight, nearly a dozen African-American faith leaders in St. Petersburg are now making their voices heard. They want to ensure the redevelopment of Tropicana Field honors the history of that site and helps the community thrive. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck tonight with this story. The land that you're standing on right now is land that was taken by every means necessary. Long before Tropicana Field, this land was home to a thriving African-American community known as St. Pete's Gas Plant District. We remember very fondly of some of the great days and good days that this town had and was known for because of the gas plant area. Dr. Wayne Thompson lived here before city leaders displaced the community to make way for a baseball stadium. Now, these faith leaders want the city to make good on old promises, choosing a developer for the 86 acres around Tropicana Field that will prioritize affordable housing, promote black businesses, and honor the land's history. If something is not done, there will be a total eradication of both the present and the history of African Americans in this very spot. The faith leaders are now endorsing Sugar Hill's proposal from JMA Construction based out of California, saying it's the best option, providing opportunity and equity for all, with twice as many affordable units on the TROP site. And we believe this is best, not only for our city, but for our people. It's a different developer than the one outgoing Mayor Rick Christman chose as his top pick, Midtown Development. But in the end, it will be up to current mayor Ken Welch to choose the proposal of his liking. He sent us this statement saying, in quote, we appreciate and share the community's passion for this vital generational project, adding my evaluation process continues. Both plans will feature the site with and without a baseball stadium as the Rays' future remains uncertain. It's bigger than baseball, not because we don't want the Rays, which we do. But if they don't stay or have some other place they want to go, we have to respect that. We have to make good on this project regardless. Current Mayor Ken Welch is expected to make an announcement about the next steps for Tropicana Field on June 30th. Reporting in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.